Hello, there's a dog out there. Hello, my name is Casey. I'm the Migraine Nutritionist. Today we're talking about something that seems pretty easy on the surface, but it's actually like very nuanced. And that is Aura or Aura. I never know if I'm saying it right, but I'm gonna keep saying Aura. Tell me if I'm wrong in the comments or how you say it, I don't know. So Aura is used to describe sensory disturbances that are typically experienced shortly before a migraine attack. So if you didn't know, there are actually a few, well, <laughs> there are a lot of different types of migraine, but one thing that's differentiating about two different types of migraine is there is migraine without Aura and migraine with Aura. So only about 30% of people get Aura with their migraine attacks. And also, those people that get it don't always have it with every migraine attack. So basically, not everyone gets Aura, but even the people who do get it don't always get it. So Aura is a stage of a migraine attack that typically is pretty short-lived. It's usually only up to 60 minutes which is not that short, come to think of it, but it's a lot shorter compared to like the up to 72 hours of a typical migraine attack or, you know, the days that you can have prodrome, which if none of this is making sense, I have a video that talks all about the five phases of a migraine attack. So I will link that down below and it discusses like this really long process that you go through for each migraine attack that can take days. So usually when we talk about the phases or like the pattern of a migraine attack, Aura is supposed to show up shortly before a migraine attack. Again, it's short lived, so it's usually within like an hour before a migraine attack. But that doesn't always happen. <laughs> I mean, also there is the fact that we people who get Aura don't always have Aura with every attack, but it whenever it happens, it's not always in this really like clear precise timeline either. So some people experience it at any point in a migraine attack. Sometimes it's like early in the prodrome phase. Sometimes it's right smack dab in the middle of an attack. Sometimes it's afterwards in the postdrome phase. Sometimes it's just in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> so Aura is a little elusive. There is one really common misconception about Aura and that's that people usually only think of visual Aura. There's actually four different types of Aura and visual is one of them. This can include things like blind spots, tunnel vision, zigzags or stars or flashes of light in your vision or just anything like funky <laughs> in your vision. And the misconception is just that people really stop thinking about Aura here when there are three other types. Another type is sensory. So sensory disturbances can be weakness, numbness, tingling. It's usually in like your face or your scalp or in your extremities, so your fingers or toes or something. The third type of aura is speech distortions. So you may find it difficult to speak clearly. You may be slurring your words or mumbling or unable to pronounce some words. And the fourth type of aura is auditory distortions. So you may have difficulty hearing things clearly. I hope that answered all the questions that you have about Aura. If you do have con like more questions, let me know in the comments and we'll keep it short and sweet. Talk to you next time.